Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? This is Hunter. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I know I sure am. I am out here busting my old tailbone, busting out 16 Cedar Creek videos. That should all be trickling out, some before, some after this. But anyway, this is a beautiful three slide rear kitchen fifth wheel that is going to be light and bright. I think you guys are gonna really like it. Plus you get some fantastic quality in the Cedar Creek. If you're not familiar with them, they are very well-built campers. Even have aluminum truss, which is a little bit of a uh, rarity in the RV industry, 6.0 level, you know, all that good stuff. Plus all the creature comforts, you know, inside that you would want. If you want some more information, you know, like a price or the specifications, you'll find that down in the descriptions video. But I hope you guys enjoy yourself. If you don't mind, hit that like and subscribe button, or even simply just drop a comment and say hello, you know, before you, you exit out of there. You have no idea how much a simple comment, you know, goes to, you know, help somebody like me, somebody that makes these videos. But again, it's the 2024 Cedar Creek 388RK2. And man, bath and a half model. It is beautiful. I did a video of these, I think when it first came out and it just absolutely killed it. It's actually one of the most successful videos ever. So for selfish reasons, I love this camper, but also a lot of brands do this. I just love this floor plan. If you guys have seen my videos before, you know that I love the rear kitchen setups. You know, it's just one of those things. If I could get a rear kitchen with a good bunk model, that might be something me and my, tra my family are traveling around in. Six foot 10 tall slides. So you're gonna notice that gets you some big windows and big features. You have a sofa that pulls out, a dinette that expands out also for, you know, some cards and whatnot. But I mean, check out those windows for a good view. They're all tinted, they all open up. You got outlets running, you know, all over the place around here. And if you wanna get, you know, your Dracula on, you got the J shade and the nightshade. So that's always a big time plus. A couple different furniture options. You can get kind of like a light, a dark, um, you know, there's gray. You can also go completely white if you want to go, you know, all the way out and go crazy on this thing. But man, I mean, look at the slide height. It just really opens this room up. It just feels like kind of like a, like a really nice condo. You know, that's the kind of feel that I get. The LED lights that go up above the slides, I think are just really nice. If you wanted to come out and get a midnight snack down there at that Mac Daddy 12 volt refrigerator, Boom, you got the lighting to do it. You know, come out in your boxers and grab some bacon and rip it up because who cares? You're camping, baby. So right here, you got yourself your Thomas Paine collection. I'll tell you, I've snoozed in many of them just like it. Super comfortable. They're also powered, so that way you don't even have to bother even pulling something. You just hold a light switch. You got a USB, but man, you're sitting back relaxing with your girl. You're watching a movie. You're having a great time all with inside your camper. You're home away from home. Uh, speaking of that, babe, if you're watching, I love you. I miss you. Can't wait to see you. So you got a fireplace. Keeps you really nice and warm and toasty. Puts out about 4,700 BTUs of heat. So it'll heat up the entirety of this area, including back into the kitchen, you know, with some proper airflow. Absolutely no problem. Those things are stupid hot. I mean, they're, they're nice to have. Pretty tall storage up here. You know, I'm six feet tall and I'm reaching all the way up and boom, I'm barely reaching. So I would probably go... Well, the camera's on the other side. I'd probably go like, um, you know, some of your stowaway items, not your everyday, you know, stuff. TV here's going to be on a swivel too. And it's one of those big swivels that come out, which I don't want to pull it out, but you can go, you know, and angle it almost like front facing on that. It's pretty darn cool. A little bit of countertop space, extra storage, probably turn that into a little bit of a drunk drawer for sure. And then we're flipping back around. You also got no carpet there in the slides, which is always nice. And now we've already talked about that. Now we're back over to this table. What I like about this table is you get an ottoman instead of another set of chairs. So a little bit, a little bit more cushiony on your bum, but you also get a little bit of storage. There's also no knee knockers there, so you won't be battling that battle. And then a place for some utensils. And then this also flips up to cover it. Uh, Cedar Creek has changed the slide force this year. So instead of going with the plywood, you got composites. That's gonna be better in those uh-oh scenarios. If you need to find out why composites better, you know, you probably had a leak, but you're going to be happy you had it. But it's also a little bit lighter, so it saves you on some weight. You know, even though this thing is pretty darn heavy. Back into the kitchen. I mean, this thing is just immaculate. It is a great kitchen to have. I love the floor space. Kind of feels, you know, like uh, like our last apartment before, you know, we were able to put the old fam inside of a house a couple years ago. That was a great day. I got a video of the kids 
uh, actually crying when we moved into the house because we didn't tell them. We came in, moved out all of our stuff, and then brought them in. And we were in a pretty rough area. And then when we got that house, man, I'm over here tearing up about it. It was, uh, I watch that video sometimes, and I'm just having, you know, one of those rough days. And, uh, man, that was just a cool freaking day. Can't wait to do it again on the next one. So right here, you got an ice maker. You got two different parts uh, for your freezer. So you can definitely pack away, you know, a long trip, a week's worth, absolutely no problem. As you can see back here, you get a lot of countertop space and a just a ton of storage. I mean, it goes high up there. I mean, I'm not a short guy, but you'd have to be like 6'5 to get to the top of some of these. But that's okay. I'd rather be there than not. You know, it's either wasted space and it's not there, you know, or it is. And you just got to figure out ways to get up there. Pull out drawers and they're deep old suckers. I mean, you pull that out, boom, ready to rock. You also got the uh, magnetic tack clutches and I should have showed you this. That is soft close. You don't have to worry about clanging and banging. You also got an outlet back there if you want to figure out, you know, something to do with that. Maybe you got a little, little mobile margarita machine coming in and out. So right here, you got your Furion oven. So it's going to be one of the larger ovens. Three stovetop burner to whip up all the fixings and enough room to whip up, you know, a couple chickens. You also have your Furion microwave to match it. And then four pull-out drawers as well. And you get the old solid surface countertops. And it's one of the fancy kinds uh, that breaks through too. That if it breaks, the design goes all the way through. Outlets. I'm not going to open up all these drawers for you. I don't want to don't want to bore you out the video, but you know, I'll open up this and you can kind of use your imagination for the rest. Uh, I lied to you. Let's open up this one. I also like how you got that glass insert with those little wavy doodads. I just think it's looking pretty sharp. That's pretty fancy. You know, you know, pinkies up there. So you also get a good viewing window here. Hopefully, you know, lakeside or mountain or something like that. But you get your farm style sink. So it's not dispositioned into the center. It's kind of more front facing. You also got... Whoosh, 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 Hitting those old dish of from all angles. Bada bing, bada boom. Three of these. One of those. Now let me make sure I did this. You get four of these over here too. But yeah, pretty darn, uh, pretty darn nice. I know I said I wasn't going to open them all, but. <laughs> you got to do what you got to do, I guess. Oh, a little light there. Is there another one over here? Yeah. So light there. Let me give you another little view here now that the now the light's on. But drop a comment. Let me know what you think. And I greatly appreciate you guys still being here too. It's definitely uh, definitely been pretty cool being able to make you know almost videos full time. It's pretty cr it's crazy. You know, three years ago, basically I started the channel because during COVID I was terrified I wasn't gonna be able to feed my family. And then I started doing the videos. The RV market went through the freaking roof went to the moon and then I just never stopped because I found I liked it plus I sold more and then here I am now it's pretty much all I'm doing the old bowling gun it's a half that's a weak bowling gun I'll show you a better one up there washer and dryer I mean come on it's a compact bathroom but it's got everything that you need washer and dryer a place to use the restroom or you can pull off the old friendly neighbor you know and wave at him um, I did forget to show you but all the man there's a manual oh nice there's somewhere here all the lights have manual controls. Anytime you see an arrow, it actually dims, you know, up and down. So like the living room lights, for instance, let me make sure. Yeah, you turn this off. Now you can sit there and hold it. And the light dims for you. Kind of puts the, uh, you know, into maybe movie mode. And then you hold it, keep holding it, keep holding it. And now you're nice, light, and bright again. But you can also do that from here as well. Anytime you see those little arrows. You can also do this uh, from an app, you know, there too. So you got all your different... HVAC system so you got a heat pump in the main AC which is going to be right back in there and then you got your slides are going to be all color coded there too along with your awning so you don't have to read all that well to open and close your close your slides these are going to be the controls for the max air fan uh, one is going to be above the oven back there and I think another one maybe in here yeah one right there too so that's nice what about the old uh Get out the old stink from whatever you're doing in there. You got some carpet here. I believe you can option that out, but uh, yeah, I don't know why you would. East to west slide in here. So pretty nice little bed setup. You also got outlets on both sides for CPAPs, USBs, the works. A fuse box, which is a pretty good location for that. Usually they're tucked away somewhere hard to get to. 
But I like how you can kind of sit in bed and fumble around with it if you ever have to. But then you also get windows and a little perch right there if you ever want a CPAP machine. Flip it around, you got yourself a dresser. You know, your boxers, your socks, your shirts, whatever it is that you're camping with. And then you also got a little hidden area right here as well uh, for maybe some of your stuff that, you know, just some of your valuables you want to keep out of the way. Emergency exit, pull, push, and plop. And I like how you got the TV that's going to be on a little bit of a pitch here just to make it a little bit easier to, uh, to see. The AC is also going to have a dump valve. So if you're hanging out in the bedroom for the night and it's pretty darn roasting outside, you can open this up and it'll disproportionately push all that cool air into this room. Above average insulation for the Cedar Creek, above average construction, you know, as well. But you're not getting too crazy on the price quite yet like you're on some of those that maybe force like full body pain or something like that. A second porcelain thrown there and it's in a good spot where you don't have to worry about knocking your shoulders. And then you got the light with the dark with kind of that splash proof right there. Love seeing that. Six drawers. Uh, the top two are going to be a little bit on the smaller side. The bottom two, you know, a little bit on the larger side. And then you got access to your plumbing there behind that. Just a wee bit of storage. Three mirrors. Tire pressure monitoring system, the sticker. I don't know why it's in there, but uh, basically tire pressure monitoring system is going to, uh, you know, scream at you if your tire is about to have, you know, a blowout or something. It's going to help prevent that. So you got the Tri-Glide glass series in here so it can open up just a little bit more. You know, I'm a, I'm a pretty large dude working on it, going to burn. Been saying it for a long time, but now the wife's on my butt eating nothing but beef and salt. Down some pretty good weight though. Now that you can tell, because I went back up. I was down at like 282, floated back up to... 315 and now I'm back at like 305 but losing weight man it's hard that's for sure but I gotta do it especially now that I got bets with my stepdad which Rob if you're watching he's still got a big neck <laughs> but uh, man I hope you guys like it definitely let me know what you think and this is the 2024 Cedar Creek 388 RK2 now I'm going to go around the outside kind of show you what she's about you know and where things are but pretty darn good looking unit. Pretty darn good looking unit. All right. So all those specifications, including that price link, if this thing has perked up your interest a little bit, uh, will be down in the description. We got places, you know, all over the country. Lately, I've been teaming up with uh, Funtown RV. They got 20 locations all the way from Michigan down to Texas which I'll be at the AT&T show uh, at the Cowboys Stadium. So you guys are in that area, you know, drop a comment because I would love to have, you know, maybe like a big bowling outing or just a dinner in general because I don't know anybody out there. Uh, it would be kind of fun. So big old awning right here. You also see the slide toppers. Love the slide toppers. Prevents debris from falling on top of it. So definitely make sure if you don't have them, you might want to purchase them. But you also get the six-point hydraulic auto leveling so they're quicker, more efficient, more sturdy. You also get... The propane uh, quick connect right there. Your propane bottles are right behind here, but you also got a little furry leash latch. I got three dogs at home, so I'd probably need another one of those. But right here, you get a really nice pass through storage, and you'll see that it's got the aluminum frame construction with the huck bolts there, you know, holding that together. A little bit of a more desirable uh, build for that. Kind of a uh, tough flex right there on the floor, and then you got your system where you can check, you know, all your maintenance. Another thing that I enjoy about Cedar Creek metal slam latch doors and these pretty fancy little clips so you open that up and then you know boom thick heavy doors spray port outlets steps that flip up and they're also going to be those sturdier steps you don't have to worry about them being you know all flimsy for you you got the uh, road armor suspension here so a little bit more of a comfortable ride dual axle frameless tinted windows you also get the anti-lock braking system you know your abs Heading around the back here, you're going to see that you do have a backup camera and you are prepped for the Lippert on-the-go ladder system. So if you want to buy that, basically it's like 300 bucks on Lippert's website. But you can get on top of your roof, you know, check your seals, check your slides, make sure all your maintenance is, uh, you know, on the old up and up. You also have a receiver here if you want to do like a bike rack or some additional storage. I think you got a, let's see here, yeah, spare tire right there. And then here you got your sewer outlet connection, 50 amp, 
bada bing bada boom, easy cord reel. And then you also got your docking station. So you have a black tank, all your hydraulic room controls, and then your hot and cold water in the form of an outside shower along with all your different bypass valves. You know, front cap lights, let's go ahead and flip those on. Uh, disconnect and then a uh, black tank flush, which is a sprinkler system there for your poop tank. Batteries behind this door, you can tell it's got that little opening there and then the control for that auto level. But all right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Hope to catch you next time. Again, this is the 2024 Cedar Creek 388RK2. My name is Hunter. Hope you guys have a good day. See you.